Now for the next question, when is the right time to escalate? And perhaps this could be uh, you know, another video on itself, so we'll keep it simple here. Number one, the right time to escalate is when you sense that she likes you and you like her. So what do you need really to escalate? What you need is isolation, okay? So you're on a date, you may already, of course you're already isolating, but on that date, you need to make it more intimate in a situation where you guys can be private, connect, and perhaps go for that next move. So my favorite thing is as soon as I notice, and it's usually fairly early on in the date, as soon as I notice somebody likes me and I like them, okay, the, the, the hint of it, and it's usually me reading or observing their nonverbals rather than them saying anything directly, but I'll just simply say, hey, you know what? God, I, I know I like you and I think you like me, but where around here would be like the best place where we could have a first kiss if we were going to have one? But just right now, where would it be? Okay. And I'll usually say around the area. So she'll say like, well, over there, you know, like, you know what? I've always wanted to go to the Capitol building. Or she might do this. This is actually a funny story. We were, I was on a first date with somebody. I took her to a strip club, which is a good place. You should think about it. I actually talk about this in one of the uh, podcast episodes. But I basically said to her, I said, hey, if we were to, ha- I, I, I know I like you and I think you like me, but if we were to have a first kiss in this club, where would it be? Show me. And she took me and led me. And the cool thing about this is, is this allows the woman to make a choice about where she is going to perhaps have like a great moment. Women love first kisses, but women need to be empowered in the choice to escalate. So if we're just men and we're trying to escalate really quickly and really rapidly, it man, it gets abrasive to them. It's like, oh, stop, stop, stop. And then we have resistance. And what we need to realize is resistance is actually a good thing, but we need to learn how to deal with it. Like I said, maybe this should be a a topic for another video. But when I escalate and when I know it's the right time to escalate is when I think she likes me and I know I like her. And I pick a place where the two of us can be alone. I could be in a park, you know, that could be around a corner or that could be in a room. But I want to get that first step to escalation to happen, to feel good and have her choice empowered with it. And man, what better way to do it? Every time I've done that, it always works. But of course, I'm already on that date and I'm pretty sure the girl likes me. I just say, where would be like the coolest place to have the first kiss? Like, where would that be? Like, if we were to have one, I'm not saying we have to, but show me. Like, let's go there and see what happens. We go there. We see what happens. Some of the girls just like melt right there and say, let's do it. Like at the, at the, on the table that we're at or at the table that we're at in the restaurant. And we, and we kiss there and it's like a beautiful moment. And because there, usually I'm in public, we can't continue to escalate. But man, it's a good first step to a sexual act that has a good feeling. And man, if you're going in that direction, you got to win for the ladies, man. That's always a good place to be. In any case, I hope this helped. Just to review, man, your structure of a date, man, it should be adventure rather than expense. Think of something like that photo scavenger hunt. When we want to go sexual, well, there's a couple different ways to do it. Basically, I gave you a model using a rapport cycle, question, ground, question, that moves in a direction where, one, we could either state intent or we could elicit part of her feminine sexual identity and also state intent towards that. Then when it came to how do we escalate, we went for the kiss clothes, my favorite kiss clothes, which is basically this. If we were to have a first kiss, like where would it be? We don't necessarily have to do it, but where where would it be? Because it's like, like, I like you. I think you like me. But let's like, let's find that place. That would be really cool. And just see what happens. I hope you enjoyed the answer. But remember, the answer means nothing unless you go out and try it. Nothing is 100%. But the only factor that you can change in the situation is yourself. And in addition to that, if you're not getting any results, you're not going to get any results by sitting stagnant. Be proactive. That's why we do these videos so that you could live a better social and sexual life. All right, signing off, Steve Maeda. Shoot me an email, get involved on the forum, and let's build the connection to live the sexual life.